by inhibiting PDE5, these medications help blood vessels stay relaxed and open, promoting a better erection. Hey everyone, Dr. Chu here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into the topic that a lot of people ask about, erectile dysfunction medications. We'll talk about what they do, how they do it, how the dosages work, and I'll sprinkle in some fun trivia along the way. So are you ready? Let's jump right in. So first off, what is erectile dysfunction or ED? Simply put, it's a difficulty in getting or keeping an erection firm enough for sex. It affects millions of men worldwide and not just older guys. Stress, lifestyle factors, and underlying health conditions can all play a role. Now here's a quick bit of trivia. The oldest known record of an ED remedy dates back to ancient Egypt, where men were advised to use strange potions and herbal brews. Luckily, we've come a long way since then. Now the main class of ED medications is called PDE5 inhibitors. PDE5 stands for phosphodiesterase type 5, which is an enzyme in your body that affects blood flow to the penis. By inhibiting PDE5, these medications help blood vessels stay relaxed and open, promoting a better erection. Think of it like opening a gate and keeping it open long enough for blood to flow in. Now there are four major PDE5 inhibitors that you've probably heard of. Number one, sildenafil, also known as Viagra. Number two, Tadalafil, also known as Cialis. Number three, Vardenafil, also known as Levitra. And number four, Avanafil, also known as Stendra. While they're similar in how they work, each one has unique features like onset time, duration, and typical dosing. So let's break it down. Let's start with the classic, the original OG, Sildenafil, brand name Viagra. Trivia fact, Viagra was actually discovered by accident in the 1990s when researchers were studying treatments for high blood pressure. They noticed a fascinating side effect and the rest is history. So how does it work? So it blocks PDE5, boosting nitric oxide and allowing more blood flow into the penis during sexual stimulation. Common doses are 25 milligrams, 50 milligrams or 100 milligrams taken about one hour before sexual activity. This generally kicks in around 30 minutes and the effect can last four to six hours. Couple important things, you must take this on an empty stomach, otherwise it won't work as well. Additionally, some men experience mild side effects like headache, facial flushing, or maybe a bluish tinge to your vision. Reason why? Because PE5 is also found in retinal tissues. Pretty wild, right? So next up is Tadalafil, brand name Cialis. Tadalafil is sometimes called the weekend pill because it can remain effective for up to 36 hours. This longer window often allows for more spontaneity in my own personal opinion. Now again, this works the same way, PD-5 inhibitor, but Tadalafil's chemical structure makes it stick around in your system longer. There's a couple ways of dosing this. You could do a daily low dose, such as 2.5 milligrams or 5 milligrams, or on demand at higher doses like 10 milligrams or 20 milligrams. Again, I recommend about one to two hours before sex. And remember, the duration, this can last up to 36 hours. Now, this doesn't mean you'll have a 36-hour erection, which, you know, PSA, that's a medical emergency, but it means you can achieve erections more easily within that time frame. Additionally, Tadalafil is now FDA approved for benign prostatic hyperplasia. So guys with enlarged prostates with both ED and enlarged prostates oftentimes prefer this option. Now, Vardenafil, sold under the brand name Levitra, is another choice very similar to sildenafil, but some folks feel that it may have slightly fewer side effects related to the color vision changes, though in individual experiences rather vary. Common starting doses are around 10 milligrams, and some we titrate up to 20 milligrams. Again, it takes about an hour before sex and for the onset to occur, and it let, typically lasts around four to eight hours. And finally, we have Avanafil, known by the brand name Stendra. Avanafil was FDA approved in 2012, making it the most recent of the four PD-5 inhibitors. Again, it works in the same mechanism, PD-5 inhibition, but it's actually designed to work faster. Common doses are 50 milligram, 100 milligrams, or 200 milligrams. Most men, I start at around 100 milligrams. And here's the fascinating thing about Venafil. It works in as little as 15 minutes, which is a huge plus if you want more spontaneity. The effects usually last about six hours, give or take. Here's where I gotta go over all the side effects that all these medications generally can give you. Headaches, facial flushing, nasal congestion, sometimes dizziness. Also really importantly is to never combine them with nitrates. If you have chest pain and they 
a doctor's giving you a pill to take when you have chest pain, do not take these medications because this can cause a dangerous drop in your blood pressure. That's because PD-5 is just not found only in the penis. It's found in your blood vessel walls and other parts of your body, which is why when you take these medications, it can affect your blood pressure. So always talk to your healthcare professional about your overall health and medications before starting one of these. Now, my patients often ask me, what's the best dose for me? Look, my strategy is I try to start low and try to see if we can get you to that desired effect without getting all the other side effects. So for Viagra, I might start you at 50 milligrams. For Cialis, I'll probably start you around 10 milligrams on demand or five milligrams daily. Everyone's different, and it's all about finding that sweet spot. Now, fun fact, so Denerfil is also prescribed in smaller doses under the brand Revatio for pulmonary arterial hypertension, which is high blood pressure in the lungs. So there you have it, an in-depth look at how ED medications work, what their differences are, and some extra trivia to impress your friends, or maybe just keep in mind if you're exploring options. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Feel free to drop questions in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm Dr. Kevin Chu, and here's to better health and confidence. Take care.